The two divorced brothers <clears throat> have a Thanksgiving without turkey. Just like Mama used to make. Except there wasn't an abomination back then. It was a taste of success in the post-World War world of another time. A big, fat, bright, crimson, top round USDA choice beef roast. Red meat. We can't forget that it's incorrect. They always remembered the Depression. Now that was an abomination. Just like Mama used to bake, with the roasting aromas drifting from the kitchen to visit all the rooms of the house. I usually only see it in the flyers now from the stores. But here it is, in the flesh and within reach, a fetish of taboo desire as I preheat the oven to 350 degrees, a brutal urge to which we guiltily succumb. The baked potatoes are much more defensible, although I suppose I should have gotten yams. It was an achievement for them. They had survived the terrible times. They'd acquired the ability to feed their family this well. Unlike us shy racketeers, beneficiaries of this rare opportunity when other people have other plans and no one has to know of our paleo pleasures. Listen to the so-called juices sizzle. Yes, of course, it's really blood. It turns from red to brown. But they can have all those vampire movies. We ought to be able to bite some of this. <laughs> I got some cornstarch in there. We'll make up a bunch of gravy and chew the fat. Remember that gravy boat she used to have? I wonder what happened to that. Raising beef takes 160 times as much land as growing potatoes. That's why it's so American, I guess, the wide open spaces. But land is still not the biggest problem. It's the greenhouse gases. And on that score, beef is only 11 times worse than potatoes. I can make that up. I'll stop falling asleep with the TV on. Besides, all of agriculture put together emits a lot less than transportation. And I don't have a car. That ought to count for something. I don't drive. That should knock off some days from my required penance of how long I should go meatless <laughs> to atone for our carnivorous indulgence. If I give it up for Advent, can I have a few more slices now? <laughs> Dump some of that gravy on it. <laughs> <laughs>